What's going on, dope shit gang? It's your boy Donald Bradley back at y'all with another video. And today we've got DJ CJ that's CJ the champ. <laughs> CJ the, the, the champ. Tokyo Revengers equals Black Air Force Energy the Anime 2. I haven't peeped one. I'm probably gonna peep it here a little bit later. But um I've been subscribed to the channel, to this this channel for uh newly actually. Um these videos be long. I wasn't like I wasn't really sure <laughs> about if I was gonna like react to any of them. But uh, I seen that Mumpu had just dropped something on this, and I was like, I had been thinking about it. And I was like, uh, all right. But I want to I see what's going on because it's like, from what I understand, it's like funny-ass commentary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we, we fuck with that over here. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there social media. And we ain't here that any further ado, further ado, to turn that bell on. Three, two, one, click. So they say, you know, scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started black. Damn, they just hop right into it. Okay. Damn. Okay. You shit. <laughs> so they say, you know, scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started blasting. And look at them. They all smiling. And homie right here just want the smoke. Look at you <laughs> with the mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic. I'm beating your ass. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. Oh. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, nah, this is gonna be funny. All right, this nigga said, "Fuck a pandemic, I'm beating your ass." Just want to smoke. Look at dude with the mask, bro. This nigga said, "Fuck a pandemic, I'm beating your ass." And both these dudes tried to team up on him, but he he just nonchalantly just. <laughs> Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a. F <laughs> oh, that's just an intro. Okay, that was aggressive, bro. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for us to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And today's the round be table. Wait, hold on. The round table. The round table. The round table of Black Air Force energy. Who we got? Oh, oh yeah, my girl right here. You know she belong over here. Mm hmm. That's the wifey right there. Black Lagoon. Let's go, baby. But nah, all these niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Kenpachi, Boo, Madara, Broly. Uh, dude from uh, Black Clover. Can't remember his name. Edin. A nigga. It's Mo Mugen, right? Samurai Shampoo. Don't know who this nigga is in the back. This motherfucker right here from Invincible. Yup. I know this motherfucker's history, too, because I looked it up. Omni Man, Vegeta. I, yup. Facts. I like, I like, I like, I like this. I like the Black Air Force table. It's de definitely accurate. Table of Black Air Force activity. And today's gonna be a very, very special video because it is finally time for us to return to Tokyo Revengers. Or should I call it. <clears throat> Black Air Force Energy, the anime. Niggas, <laughs> should I, okay, so that's Black Air Force Energy, the anime. I like I it. it. <clears throat> Black Air Force Energy, Zim. the anime. Niggas getting dropped. Getting beat the fuck up. Gang violence, home invasion. Nigga, you name it. He <laughs> said gang violence, homie. Let's go. Well, last time we did Exhibit A, and that was episodes 1 through 15. A, and I said when the season ends, I'll do Exhibit B, and then I'll add a representative to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Mm. Well, uh... It's about that time. So let me okay, yeah, def we gotta check the rest. We gonna be checking out the rest, uh, more of these, the rest, whatever. We gonna check out more of these damn videos. I could already see this is gonna be a good time. <laughs> let me go ahead and give that one. If you have not seen Tokyo Avengers episode 16 through 24, you may not want to watch this video. Because I've seen it all as far as the anime more, goes. I, mean, I don't read the manga. Then strap the fuck in, nigga, because we about to get into this shit. So without further ado, <clears throat> Exhibit B. <laughs> So last time we left off, this man Baji was beating the shit out of his vice captain. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, why are you doing this? Why are you turning your back on your own hood, bro? So apparently Kazutora has a grudge against Toman. So we get a flashback all the way to 03. So everybody's just chilling and riding their bike right. And yo, this man Mikey's just like, you know, chilling on his moped and shit like. <laughs> Bro. I love how the most savage person in this show is literally just cruising on a moped right now. And look at dude, he like, why you shitting on my moped, dog? This my street hawk, nigga. So then this other gang pulls up. They look like some whole ass grown men out here harassing middle schoolers. So this dude's like, all right, bro, I'm about to smash your little bitch made ass moped, nigga. But then Mikey gives him this death stare. And he's like, lay one finger on this shit and see what happens to your ass. And he just. Black Air Force energy. That's a Black Air Force stare, nigga. Just stare down a whole ass grown man. So he backs <laughs> off, but look at his head, bro. Look at his demeanor. He acting tough and shit right now, but in his mind, he's like, ah, oh, hell no. This little nigga about to burn my shit. I best could daddle. So they did, but they like, <laughs> if we see you, daddle. we gonna jump your ass. And then look at Baji, bro. He like, what you wanna do, y'all? Y'all wanna murder these niggas? Oh my God, dog, you just a kid. And you out here talking about murdering grown ass. Baji, man, this nigga Baji probably be cool with Kiba. 
Him and Keeper from Naruto probably link up hard, homie. Man, so then Mikey runs out of gas. So then he's like, listen, bro, I'm trying to go to the beach. So uh, one of y'all niggas about to get to pushing and take my shit to the gas station. So Baji ends up having to push Mikey's moped all the way to the gas station. But he ends up running into that same gang that they saw earlier. So yeah, uh, he ended up getting jumped. So after that, they like, all right, bro, we about to fuck up your moped now. But then as he's about to break it, Baji steps in and takes the hit. And he's like, y'all niggas ain't about to fuck up my nigga Mikey's moped now. So right before this man Baji's about to get jumped again, this man Mikey pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, I forgot my swim trunks. So then this dude kicks his own moped down. Then he turns around and he's like, yeah, y'all niggas got some nerve come with my shit, huh? And then man's like, hey, hold on, bro. You fucked up your own moped. But then Mikey just clocks his shit. <laughs> you gotta get down with these sound effects, bro. You gotta get down with these sound effects. And man's like, hey, hold on, bro. You fucked up your own moped. But then Mikey just clocks That nigga said, that's that, that, that Street Fighter, for those of y'all who don't know. Then Pukyaki said, pull y'all. That shit, huh? And then man's oh. like, hey, hold on, bro. You fucked up your old moped. But then Mikey just clocks his shit. Sent this grown ass man flying. Like, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, nigga. <laughs> Revive. Oh, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. shit. Sent this grown ass man flying. Revive. Like, dog. Imagine getting knocked out by a child. You a grown ass man and you got knocked out by a Kid. Nigga, you an embarrassment to your hood. Like, bro, don't ever show <laughs> your face again. So, yeah, they was running grown men's fades at, like, the age of 12. So, later on, Kazutor and Baji just riding down the street, and they're like, hey, yo, we got to get Mikey a birthday present. So, Kazutor suggests we should get Mikey that bike. Oh, this that what I, this what I, so, yeah. Baji's like, all right, bro, how we going to get the bike? And Kazutor says, we're stealing it. These niggas about to rob the bike shop. And look at him, bro. It's like he's done this shit before. <laughs> Little niggas only in middle school and is already an expert in breaking and entering. Look what? at <laughs> Oh, yo, yo, the, 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 the comedic cues on this are freaking perfect. I love it. I love it. The little gaming shit that he throwing in here, bro. This shit is hilarious. Got this shit before. Little niggas only in middle school and is already an expert in breaking and entering. Look at them. They got the pliers and shit. So then they get it loose and they're like, all right, bro, let's roll this shit out. So while Kazutor goes to check the front, Baji just realizes there's a person still left in the shop. So he notices them and he's like, hey, we getting robbed? And he got a wrench and everything. He ready to clock that shit. So while Baji's panicking, he looks at him and he realizes that he knows this person. So while they're talking, this man Kazutor comes out of nowhere and clocks his shit with the pliers. Ugh. He cracked him in the temple with a smile on his face. And that man is just flat out dead. And then Baji's <laughs> revive. <laughs> I'm loving the revive. That nigga's just flat out dead. Cracked him in the temple with a smile on his face. And that man is just flat out dead. And then Baji's like, ah shit. We fed up. Cause the man that Kazutor just killed is Mikey's brother. <laughs> Woo! Well, yep. Yep. Nobody at the school would call out for anything if it weren't for me. What is happening? <laughs> Trying to steal a bike for his birthday, they end up breaking into his brother's bike shop. Trying, bro, that is actually that is kind of crucial though. That is like just as far as like the storyline goes, you know, give some depth to some shit. Like they wanted to steal a bike for Mikey, and end up killing Mikey's brother. Like how? Like why? <laughs> For his birthday, they end up breaking into his brother's bike shop, trying to steal his bike that he was going to give Mikey for his, his birthday. birthday. Bro, and he see, see, that, that's a whole confection right there, bro. Killed him. God damn, bro. And man is losing it right now. He's like, it's all Mikey's fault. I need to kill Mikey. What the f? What? What? How does that make any sense? You it's just caught a psychotic breakdown, bro. <laughs> Clocked his brother upside the head, basically just killed the nigga. And you're saying it's my ain't no basics about it. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> he ended that nigga shit, bro. Clocked his brother upside the head, basically just killed the nigga. And you're saying it's Mikey's fault. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's a lost cause. So then they get arrested, <laughs> and, and then they see Mikey. Oh my god, bro, this is just tragic. And look at him kill. Kill all oh, hell no, y'all. This nigga's bad shit crazy. So no Baji shit. didn't get locked up because Kazutora defended him. So Baji joins Valhalla and they tell Takamichi, all right, go ahead, tell that nigga Mikey this, that on October 31st, we running y'all shit. So the day before the fight, Takamichi ends up running into Shifuyu, the person that Baji was beating the hell out of earlier. And he tells Takamichi that there's a reason why Baji went to Valhalla. And it's because of Kisaki. So apparently this Steve Urkel ass nigga has been plotting the whole- <laughs> Just gonna glide over that. Just gonna glide over that. This Steve Urkel ass nigga. 
Just go ahead, slide that one in there right quick. This nigga is a Steve Urkel looking ass nigga. Though. <laughs> and it's because of Kisaki. So apparently this Steve Urkel ass nigga has been plotting the whole time. Because we already know in the future, the reason why everything goes bad is because of this dude. So they do some investigating and they figure out that this man is running the whole show. Like y'all remember Osanai, the nigga that got knocked the fuck out by the Mikey 3000 roundhouse? Apparently <laughs> Mikey Kisaki 3, was the one. Mikey 3000 roundhouse. Yeah, I gotta, we, gotta, we gotta watch the first one. Osanai, this, the uh, nigga yeah. that got knocked the fuck out by the Mikey 2000 roundhouse. Apparently, Kisaki was the one who put him in power. Mm. Bro, just look at him, bro. This nigga look dusty as fuck. That nigga do look. That nigga look rough. Like I know he got the haircut and he looking different like now, but like when it came to this motherfucker, this boy looked rough. I'm talking like jagged edge rough, bro. I'm talking like the tundra. Like let's go. The one who put him in power. Bro, just look at him, bro. This nigga look dusty as fuck. How did he go from looking like this to this? So they end up putting the puzzle pieces together, and they figured out that Kisaki is the one that is basically leading Valhalla as well. And he's pulling the strings from both sides. Yo, this man on a Palpatine type beat. God damn. <laughs> Homie is... Palpatine, I like that. You know, Palpatine, he was uh, act like he was a good guy with the Jedi, but he was actually with Sith, so you, got, you get that. You get that. All right, let's go. Strings from both sides. Yo, this man on a Palpatine type B. God damn. Homie is dead as leading a whole war and is basically leading both sides. So he can have power at the end of it all. Hey, hey, I mean, that's kind of smart, but uh, you ain't my nigga Palpatine, though. Hey, but you know how you can try? So right before the fight, talking to you. <laughs> yeah, my nigga Pal, he could try, though. He could try, though. Okay, okay. Smart, but uh, you ain't my nigga Palpatine, though. Hey, but you could try, you could try. So right before the fight, Takamichi goes back to the future to ask Draken some more questions. And he figures out that. Back to the future. <laughs> You know what you did. <laughs> Mikey is supposed to be the leader of Valhalla. And the whole organization was made for him to lead. And he figures out that he has to stop Mikey from killing Kazutor because uh, Mikey's going to put that nigga six feet under. Facts. And if Mikey <laughs> catches a body, then everything's going to go to shit. So now it's the day of the fight and all these <laughs> other... Day of the smoke. The niggas from games came to watch this shit. Like it's a whole spectacle or something. Hey, hey, but I can't cap. Some of these niggas dripping though. Look at the fence. And this big ass nigga right here made sure to bring snacks. Like, god damn, how many Big Macs did you get, nigga? And he got a whole nother bag. So then this dude walks up and he's like, all right, both of y'all niggas ain't shit. Just letting y'all know that right now. And I guess he's supposed to be the referee. So what is this, like the NCAA for delinquents? Is this supposed hey. to be like a regulated fight? So then he's like, all right, y'all bring out your team captains. <laughs> 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 I can say, I try to bring out your team captains. Oh shit, this shit is funny, bro. This shit is funny as fuck. <laughs> okay, let's go. Really out here like it's a whole ass game. They got flags and everything. I'm surprised they didn't bring the band to play the fight song. This is a goddamn <laughs> delinquent national championship. So he's like, it's a goddamn delinquent night. Bro, this nigga funny. This nigga funny. Like, I subscribed to this channel a little bit ago, just like looking at things I wanted to react to that were like anime related or whatever the fuck. And I seen this. I hadn't peeped the video. I had subscribed. Just it looked interesting, and <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here. All right, bro. What the fuck y'all want to do? Y'all want to do a five? Because this five nigga about to get rocked. <laughs> I bought a whole ass all out brawl. Like, nigga, yo, five on five? So we having like a whole ass tag team match? Oh, then Kazutor is like, man, this shit. Then just crashed the ref in the face uh. and then just punched him in the gut for good measure. So then bruh's like, what is all this bullshit? Overseeing a fight, conditions, what y'all niggas want to do, playhouse or some shit? Not facts! I was low-key thinking that when I was watching the episode, like, what you mean, bro? What is this? What is this real shit? But like... He definitely had the, the 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 black air force energy at the beginning because he was like, bro, hold up, what you fuck you mean some rules, nigga? What you mean some rules and regulations, nigga? Shut the get your out of here, bro. Bullshit, overseeing a fight, conditions. What y'all niggas wanna do? Play house or some shit? Nah, nigga, fuck all that bullshit. We came to box out sorry asses. So they, hey. you know, scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started blasting. And look at them, they all smiling. And homie right here just wants to smoke. He just wants to dude with the mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic. pandemic. I'm beating your ass. And both these dudes tried to team up on him, but he, he just nonchalantly just <laughs> cracked his skulls. Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a fuck. Oh, and look at the facts, though. Like, look at this nigga face. This old thing, who this nigga? This nigga remind me of, uh, Lurch. <laughs> Lurch from the Adams family. The motherfucker who answered the door. That's who he look. That's who he remind me of, nigga. Let's go. Should not leave just <laughs> Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a f Oh, look at the little rat pay on his ass. 
Still not forgetting what your little red ass did, nigga. But hey, hey, I'll let it slide because you beating this nigga's ass. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because he was uh the the whole bloody October, the bloody whatever, whatever. He was he was running some shit behind the scene with that. He wasn't on they side for it because uh, fuck, what was his beef? Oh yeah, because uh, his homie went to jail and he was mad. Motherfuckers wasn't trying to get him out, so he was doing some bunk shit. But all right, let's go, let's go. Still not forgetting what your little red ass did, nigga. But <laughs> hey, hey, I'll let it slide because you beating this nigga's ass. Oh, it's Shifuku yeah. with a nice drop kick. So while everybody's boxing, Takamichi's just standing there like a dumbass, like, uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> he ends up getting his <laughs> shit rocked. So then Misuya comes and says him, he's like, hey, bro, get your head in the game or you're gonna be six feet under when this shit is over. So Kazutora is coming in to swing on Mikey, but Draken stops him and he's like, uh, 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 we're doing this JRPG style. You gotta beat the sub boss before you fight the main boss. Hey, let's go. I like it. I like it. I love the connections that dude is making, like, from the anime just to different shit. Like, it's freaking hilarious. The connections are freaking pure comedy, bro. He be, yeah. Ah, we're doing this JRPG style. You gotta beat the sub boss before you fight the main boss. Uh, but then Hanma's lanky ass comes oh, over yeah. and boots Draken's ass like 10 feet. Like, because they both blinky ass niggas. You feel me? They both like weird. They can be, whoa, kick a nigga in the freaking chest. Damn, boy, you got a strong ass foot. Size 13 having ass boy. So then Mikey and Kazutor <laughs> finally face off. And Kazutor is like, yeah. I've been waiting for this day, boy. I've been dreaming of this ever since I clocked your little dumbass brother upside the head. And then look at Mikey, bro. He like, all right, bro, bring it on with your little banana peel head ass. Oh! <laughs> Oh, hold up. Wait, now nah, let's get over here to this ad. That was a bro. That was disrespectful. That was beyond disrespectful. What are your banana peel head ass? Upside the head. And then look at Mikey, bro. He like, all right, bro, bring it on with your little banana peel head ass. Oh my God. <laughs> That's disrespect, bro. Oh my god, yo, if anybody ever does a battle, uh, an anime versus battle, you know how they do the Aizen and Madra, whatever, whatever, and this nigga's in one and his opponent does not say banana peel head ass, bro, it's not good, it's not good, you lose, you gotta use that, oh, that was clean. Oh, dumbass brother up top of oh, the head, then look at Mikey, bro, he like, alright, bro, bring it on with your little banana peel head ass. So while oh, they're facing god. off, Takamichi's still over here shitting bricks, so then Shifuyu comes over and he's like, hey, bro. I know you're scared, but you're going to have to go some balls. So <laughs> you gonna have to, that's essentially what he did say. I know that was like, it was, an, it was a big moment, but that's essentially what he said to that nigga. He's like, hey, bro, I know you're scared, but you're going to have to go some balls. So Takamichi ends up playing the nigga out. Ooh, hey. Boy, rock that nigga shit. But, but, but then, but then, my nigga just started getting jumped yeah. again. Hey, hey, but at least he fighting now. Yeah, so facts. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got to get back and reach those. You know, he threw it. He still ain't. He can't fight, but he threw it, though. <laughs> boxing with Lanky, Ooh, Ooh, he gave him that signature DBZ gut punch. But then, Ooh, uh, facts. Let's go. Like them, like I said, bro, them connections. Her boxing with Wow, facts. But then, yeah, we, Dragon Ball Z was freaking famous for that punch. When they hold back in, blow the hell out, bro. Like, ooh. Ooh, like he how your spine DBZ gut punch, but then oh. Anima sticks his goons on Draken. So it's not looking good for Tomen right now. Like they're, they're outnumbered and they're getting their asses beat. And now Draken's about to get jumped. But then Takamichi comes in. What the f is my nigga doing? <laughs> oh my God, what the? F but Fuck apparently, yeah. bruh just gave everybody in Tomen a whole morale boost. So Draken starts stretching. He's like, I've been waiting for this day. I've been watching Naruto 24-7. I've been waiting <laughs> for the day when I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. <laughs> yes! I've been waiting for the day I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance because he wanted to run everybody fate. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Until 24 7. I've been waiting for the day when I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. So this man just starts running wild on the whole Madara. Ah! Everybody skull one after another, catching bodies on bodies on bodies. And Let's like, go. Hell no, nah, nigga. I didn't sign up for this. And bro, he literally laid everybody out cold. Ah! He's like, yeah. You next, linky ass boy. <laughs> Let's go, yeah. You next, linky ass boy. I love this nigga commentary. This is amazing. This is great. I gotta take my glasses off, bro, because I can't keep these motherfucking tears out my eyes. This shit is too funny, bro. Let's go. Let's go. This nigga said, I was waiting to recreate the Mother the Versus Shinobi Alliance. This shit, he like, yeah, baby, let's dance, nigga. Damn. Boy, he sent that nigga flying at least 50 yards. And look at Takamichi, he's like, damn, bro, I didn't know this nigga was that OP. Yo, all this man's stats are just maxed out. So then Mikey's <laughs> out here chasing on Kazuto, and he's like, quit running, you banana peeled ass bitch. But he was <laughs> he's still on that banana peel shit. <laughs> that shit is, I'm sorry. That, that has got to be 
Oh shit, sorry man. I'm nose is running shit. This shit too funny. That has got to be the most that's the most hilarious diss in this whole shit. Banana peel head ass. To a whole truck and Mikey ends up getting jumped by both <laughs> their captains. But it don't matter because it's still light work. Y'all niggas ain't shit. But they end up getting a hold of Mikey. And this man Kazu Toro comes from the top rope and collapses shit with this steel pipe. Top rope. From the top rope and collapses shit with this steel pipe. Our boy Mikey is down for the. What's with the revives, bro? Or so we thought because my nigga still got up. And then this man Kazu Toro just starts monologuing. He says, I went to juvie because of you. I suffered because of you. If a person kills someone, they're a bad guy. But if you kill your enemy, you're a hero. And everybody's like, what the f is this nigga on? This nigga must have snorted like two lines before the battle started. Then this man Hama's like, bat shit crazy, am I right? Nah, nigga, you ain't lying. So then they hold him down and he's like, don't let him go. I'm about to beat the shit out this nigga. So he just starts hitting him with a steel pipe over and over and over again and everybody's yeah. like damn bro hey, you going a little too far my nigga and look at those <laughs> dude bro he like damn that nigga really got that shit and look at him <laughs> yeah like honestly when i saw him like i was like i'm surprised that nigga didn't like try to get his piece back you know what i'm saying but like all right all right <laughs> my nigga and look at those dude bro he like damn that nigga really got that it. shit and look at him bro he's like i'm gonna become a hero by killing my enemy smacks him again bro bro what the f is you on so while mikey's being held down he's like kill your enemy is that why you killed my brother bro, this man headbutts dude then picks this man up with his oh, leg <laughs> <laughs> i love it this <laughs> even got the freaking street fighter ko bro this freaking dumb but yeah nah he did pick that whole nigga up he picked up that whole nigga with one leg you think it's still in school? Butts, dude. Then picks this man up with his oh, leg. Oh my god! Oh my god. Revive! No, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm Where's waiting. the revive? I've seen enough. Come on, insert. Take your seat. Hell yeah, yes. Take your seat. That's where he go. But Kazutoda ain't get a revive though. <laughs> get real comfortable. Bro, we ain't even done yet, and I could end the video right here off of just that. This dude literally picked up his leg with another nigga on it, then flung it and knocked both of them out cold. Double KO, actually triple KO, because the other nigga knocked the fuck out down there too. But then after that, Mikey's out of gas. So, bro. Oh this is it, heroes. Start your mission. Don't worry about none of that. Why was superhuman? Bro can't even move right now. So then all of Valhalla's like, all right, bro, let's go jump this nigga. So Takamichi's trying to rush up there to stop him, but he's going to be too late. So right when Mikey's about to get clapped, Steve Urkel comes out of the woodworks and clocks, homie. Bro, the fact that he just will not drop these niggas' nicknames is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Steve Urkel came out, That ass made the nigga spin like a damn Beyblade. So Kisaki's a... That nigga said, let it rip! Oh my god. Out of the woodworks and clocks, homie. Deadass made the nigga spin like a damn Beyblade. So Kisaki's up here trying to defend Mikey, and we all know this is bad. Homie's finally putting his plan into work. Takamichi's like, no, this can't be happening. And everybody's like, good job, Kisaki. And even Draken, bro. Oh my god. So Takamichi's like, no, guys, this shit can't be happening. Do not believe this nigga has good intentions. But while he's standing up there, somebody's coming, and it's Baji, and he sneaks his ass. Clocked him upside his head. And bruh is just knocked out. And look at Baji, bruh. He like, yeah, nigga. I'm about to fuck your face up so goddamn bad. Your mom won't even be able to recognize your little ugly ass. But then he gets thrown by Kisaki's vice commander. Kisaki's like, all right, bruh. Swat that nigga dead. So Chifuyu tries to stop Baji, but uh, Baji just cracked that nigga in the skull. So then Takamichi comes in. And he's like, stop this, bruh. This ain't you. We know why you're doing this shit. But while Takamichi's trying to stop Baji, this man Kazutor comes out of nowhere and shanks his ass. And he pushed it in. Oh my God! You rotten banana peeled ass bitch. Gotta get out there. <laughs> Stick it with the banana peels. But his hair for real is. <laughs> oh my God, bro! All right. He's like die, bitch. What did he do? This is a nigga that was trying to help you. And you just stabbed him in his back. 
Bro, Ka Kazutori is, is a lost cause at this point. So then Takamichi just trucks him. But then this man, Baji, is still standing up like nothing happened. And look at him, bro. He's just staring down an entire army on a hill. So he puts his hair back. And he's like, bring it on, nigga. So he just runs at him and just starts beating the shit out of everybody. It is a 50 to 1, and this nigga is cracking everybody's shit. Bro, you gotta love this nigga's sound effects. Off the rip, bro. It just brings the whole thing to life. This man is dead ass laying out a entire division with just a steel pipe. And look at him, bro. He is having fun while doing this. So Kisaki's <laughs> like, ah, shit, we gotta stop this nigga. But he ends up sneaking his guard and just pulls uh, up Kisaki. He gotta revive? Kazutori ain't get no revive. Everybody else gotta revive because of Toto. <laughs> he in under like a minute. So while Baji's about to finish the job, my nigga bled out. And our boy Baji is down for the count, bro. <laughs> Look at this nigga Kisaki. He knows he planned this shit, you conniving ass bitch. So Mikey wakes up and he sees that. Ain't gone Urkel. <laughs> Baji has bled out. And bro is like mega pissed. So Mikey walks up to Draken and Hanma and he's like, the fight is already over. But Hanma's like, hey, bro, the fight ain't over yet. You ain't get to decide that shit. So Mikey looks at him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny every time. <laughs> That shit. So Mikey looks at him, he's like, mm, Damn! That motherfucker just dynamite kicking the hell out of people, bro! Sit your little lanky ass down. Then he says, There, it's over. Dog, 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 bro, bro. Mikey is literally bred different. Dog literally walked up to him and said, the fight is over. Because he knew he was about to knock his ass out. And look at him, bro. He knocked him out so hard his ass cheeks were spazzing out. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. He said this nigga hit him so hard. This nigga twerking on the floor. <laughs> this nigga twerking. This nigga out cold twerking. He was about to knock his ass out. <coughs> Look at him, bro. He knocked him out so hard his ass cheeks were spazzing out. <laughs> So everybody in Valhalla just splits like, bro, it is over. And I love how all this even happened is because this nigga's just instigating shit. Bro was like, yeah, Kazutor is definitely- Nah, he should be in, uh, what was it? He should be in RD RDC World's, uh, what's that shit? Uh, forget the Olympics when nigga, like, he be instigating, be doing all kinds of other shit. Like, he be, he be a perfect contender. I love how all this even happened is because this nigga's just instigating shit. Bro was like, yeah, Kazutor has definitely got some screws loose. I see. He brought Baji in the Valhalla so he could finish him off himself. So you should beat that nigga's ass. Yo, somebody signed this man up for the Hood Olympics. Ah, man, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they know what's up. You know what's up. You know what's up. You know what's up. <laughs> finish him off himself. So you should beat that nigga's ass. Yo, somebody signed this man up for the Hood Olympics. So then Damn, Mikey like on cue. Tour and cause the tour is like, all right, let's end this. Either you die or I die. And Mikey's just looking at him like, is this nigga serious? So yeah, bro, he just started <laughs> welling on that nigga. Then he kicked that nigga like 10 yards. And then bro just took top mountain. And nigga, nigga, it's over. God damn. Bro, bro, he's beating the piss out of his ass. Even the nigga that be smiling all the time is like, bro. You gonna kill that nigga. Why calls the is getting the absolute shit beat out of his ass? He remembers why he stabbed Baji. He got a phone call from Hanma saying that Baji was a traitor. And you know damn well, uh, the nigga that probably set up that phone call, uh, was Steve Urkel's ass. Yo, this nigga stay plotting. So then somehow this man Baji is still up and moving on his feet. So then he goes over to Kazuto and he's like, hey bruh, don't blame your death on me. So he just said f it and just killed himself. God. Bro, man actually offed himself so he wouldn't have to blame old dude for his death. Jesus Girl, shit. Christ. So then Kazutora's dumbass walks up to him. He's like, you're next. You two can go to hell together. This man Mikey looking at his crazy ass like, shut the fuck up. So while Baji's dying, he literally just spills everything. Like, yeah, bro, that nigga Kisaki's behind everything. The man is behind the fight with Mobius. Right after Pa went to jail, he went up to Mikey to become the third division captain in exchange for getting Pa out of jail. Nigga, this some next level ass plotting. So Baji says his last words, and he's like, all right, y'all, I'm out this hoe. So uh, that nigga wants to kick the bucket. This that nigga really did the computer. Doo, doo, doo. This is the computer shut down. Damn, dog, he didn't even betray his hood. He was a real nigga the whole time. So Mikey just loses it, just starts beating shit out of Kazutori. So Takamichi's like, ah, shit, Is this bro. like some straight up Kingdom Hearts music there in the background? I'm like, okay. I gotta stop this nigga, because if I don't, the future's gonna go to crap. So he obviously can't fight Mikey. So he's like, all right, I'm gonna have to resort to one of the most open. I feel like he gonna fight Mikey eventually. 
I feel like this nigga gonna fight. Like I said, I haven't read the manga, but this he gonna fight Mikey eventually. I feel like. Superpower techniques in anime history used by the seventh Hokage himself. Talk no jutsu. So this. Bro, hold on. Our techniques in anime history used by the seventh Hokage. Used by seventh Hokage. Talk no jutsu, bro. <laughs> it's like I'ma say words. I'ma say words. You know, and then Naruto is like infectious. You know, like he can bring the best out of people like that. So like that, <laughs> that's what he's getting at. Oh my god, did it with like uh, Gara and him. Hokage himself. Talk no jutsu. So this man talk, talk, no, talk no jutsu, jutsu Mikey. But no. Damn. Oh, I he rock his shit like that. <laughs> He's like, move, boy, I'ma kill your ass. But then this charm falls out of his pocket, and then Mikey gets hit by that flashback, no jutsu. So then he's like, ah, <laughs> flashback, no jutsu. It. So then the cops are coming, so everybody got to get to stepping. So then Kazutora is like, all right, to atone for my sins, I'ma stay here and get locked the fuck up again. So damn, bro, this nigga literally just got out of juvie just to get locked up again. It's because Mikey gave him that um, what's that shit? Recognitive calibration. <laughs> After he punched him in the fucking head so so many times, he knocked all that damn crazy loose. He put the bolts back. Again. Well, uh, at least uh, he's trying to learn how to better himself this time. So, uh, good luck and uh, don't drop the soap. So later on, after that whole fight went down, they end up having a whole nother meeting, and Valhalla ends up merging with Toman because, uh, you guessed it, this nigga. But somehow, some way, Takamichi ends up getting promoted to first division captain. Hey, bro, even though this dude can't even throw, like, no hands, I gotta admit, <laughs> this man got some crazy-ass durability. Like, dude can take an ass whooping. He's facts. Facts. Especially with the the, the, the October shit, when he was, the, the Halloween fight, whatever, man. Zaka Beach can take an ass whooping, bro. <laughs> if that's one thing, he'll square up like, I ain't afraid to get knocked out, nigga, but you can I'll cry the whole time. <laughs> Hands, I gotta admit, still be in this it. man got some crazy ass durability. <laughs> like, dude uh. can take an ass whooping. So Takamichi's like, all right, let me go check out how the future is now. See if it changed a little bit. So this man goes back to the future and he spawns back into the dusty ass blockbuster. But the thing is, he ain't working there no more. That man is dripped the f out and is a whole ass Yakuza boss. Bro, that <laughs> nigga in a whole ass Rolls Royce and all his niggas with him too. Hey, yo, all them niggas eating. So Chifuyu and Takamichi gotta go to this meeting. And this is where we could tell, uh, some ain't right. Cause half of these dudes ain't even the original members of Toman. Some of them yep. are from an ex gang called the Black Dragons. And Hanma's lanky ass is there too. And they talking because somebody is a rat. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, what the fuck is going on? So then Kisaki pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, let me take y'all back to my crib and I'm gonna give y'all a drink real quick. So they go to this dude's penthouse. I even noticed like when they did this part, like that nigga didn't drink his. Like when they was all, it didn't ever showed him drinking his shit. And then he starts talking to him. So then he says, what do you think about me? Around this time, 12 years ago, Baji died. And he drops it, I'm the one that planned Bloody Halloween. I formed Valhalla and made them clash with Toman. So then he's out here apologizing for everything that he did. So then he's like, have a drink, y'all. So while they toast, peep how he doesn't take Facts, these yup. See, he know what's up, he know what's up. He's like, have a drink, y'all. So while they toast, peep how he doesn't take one sip. So then this man goes over to the window and starts looking out of it. And then he says, when I said I didn't think Baji would die earlier, yeah, that's a lie. I used that nigga Kazutora to kill Baji. And I'm about to finish what I started. So yeah, uh, he done lace the drinks. So then Takamichi wakes up and they are tied up and strapped down onto a chair. So then he's, he's really, really good with the background music. Like really bringing the freaking moment to life. You feel me? Saki's like, you had a nice nap, nigga. So then he's like, yeah, had a nice I know nap, you were nigga. You. You've been trying to get my ass ever since I killed Baji. So then he pulls out the Glock. He's like, Takamichi, why you ain't said shit? Then he pops his ass in the leg. Damn, bro. <laughs> so then he puts a Glock up in Chifuyu's head and he's like, any last words before I put your ass six feet under? So then Chifuyu reveals that in this timeline, Mikey disappeared and Draken was executed and Toman just went to crap. So then he says, everything's in your hands now, partner. Damn! Nigga popped a cap in his ass. Blew my nigga Chifuyu's brains out, <laughs> dog. And then he puts the Glock up to Takamichi. Bro, this man is a madman. Look at him. He like, say something, nigga. So then he sheds a tear and he's like, see ya, my hero. Then wow, bro. That is how you do a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. I saw, yeah. 
I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. Cause damn near everybody in this show got Black Air Force energy, dog. I already <laughs> added Mikey before the video even ended. And if I add more than two, then that's not gonna be enough space for all the other people that I need to add later. All right, so I've come down to it. I'm gonna have two representatives from this show. Mikey, and I'm gonna have to give it to Draken. Cause that nigga a menace. And I guess our honorary members is like everybody else, especially Kazutor and Baji. Cause that banana peeled <laughs> yeah. ass nigga ain't even an adult yet and he been locked up twice. So yeah. That was oh Tokyo Revengers. God. Hell, if they come out with season two, I might make Black Air Force Energy the anime three. Hey, but I'll be honest, I might end up reading the manga low key. But anyways, y'all take it easy, and uh, I'm out to hope. Yo, that was hilarious. We watch hilarious shit here too. But like, I love the way he put that anime because that's all facts, bro. <laughs> that is all facts. Black Air Force Energy, the anime. Yeah, we definitely gonna hop into the first one. We definitely gonna watch the first one. So I just wanted to watch this one because it was the most recently dropped vid, bro. But like this, oh my lord. I gotta see what the fuck he said about the first half. <laughs> that nigga said banana peel head ass. That nigga said old lanky ass. That nigga said old Steve Urkel looking ass. <laughs> Bro, the roast and the jokes in this were freaking phenomenal. I loved it. Who chuck a bucket to poo ya? The kick, bro. The revives, dog. This shit was hilarious. This was hilarious. Oh my god. Yeah, nah. Definitely, definitely, definitely on some on, on some other type shit with this one. But that's the take on it, guys. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media, and I'll catch y'all next one, fam. Peace! <laughs>